Dr. Reiner. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. And welcome everybody. It's a very late night session here. It's a Dreamforce conference. This session is actually about custom experience and automotive industry. And I suppose most of us are automotive enthusiasts. So let's see how custom experience is changing automotive industry. Because we've seen over the last years that product quality went better and better. So after it's hard to differentiate on the product quality, now of course customer experience is pretty much different from client to client. Nowadays it's a central objective for first of all all premium automotive manufacturers. And those who are good in customer experience, this results in the brand loyalty and to increased sales and better retention. For me, the most interesting one is on this here. Even five years ago, each new car buyer went in medium more than three times into the dealership. And this has halved until this year. It's 1.8 dealership visits before purchase. And literally the whole sales cycle from consider, compare, purchase always is of course, it's an interactive, an interactive dialogue always the web is involved. So the internet, also in car purchase and used car purchase, is, is there everywhere. And automotive can learn a lot. Here we find some examples of other industries. Um, and automotive industry is not always there. There are on used cars, we have platforms in most markets with a transparent stock. None of the automotive companies nowadays has a fully transparent stock. Nike is doing excellent customer data sharing with its clients from the sport shoes. Automotive is starting to do so. Some of the hotels, here the example of Hilton, are doing status acknowledgement. There's not a single automotive company in yet. Lufthansa and most of the airlines are doing a system, a reward training. Automotive partially is starting it when I'm thinking to loyalty cards like BMW has, for example. Brand experience like Nespresso, we find some brand stores uh, with Volkswagen, some flagship stores with Mercedes, Audi is doing so around the world, also BMW. It's with the premium brands, yes, with the others not yet. Customer interaction, some examples we find. What is the message here? Automotive has started to learn from other industries with respect to customer experience. And dialogue on brands is more and more shifting into the social web, the customer integration. Let's take the example of Wikipedia, co-creation of the motivation to participate in Wikipedia. Let's think about sales experience on eBay, interacting with the world selling products there. YouTube, putting in some videos, some films into YouTube. So interaction is everywhere. And the dialogue on brands and products, this is also wanted by automotive customers. And we find some of the examples. The basic one on customer data, I mentioned already Nike. Some more advanced, like Lego, become promoters. And then the contribution to value chain, like the Audi, the Audi Virtual Lab, this is, I think, a very interesting one, where co-creation has been integrated in product development by Audi. This is one of the examples why I'm saying this is going to raise over the next years. And this is the whole automotive value chain from research and development, production, marketing, sales. And we find some examples of some brands now for each of the steps where customer experience is going to involve the customer and the whole value chain, the whole development process. And that's where NDD data is also involved in some of those projects. You find it on, on co-creation, you find it internet communities deciding on car design, on options, like Fiat did with the Cinque Cento. Um, we find testimonial marketing with the General Motors brand of Opel over the last months they started it. Community selling, an example of, uh, of Volvo here, 
swarm intelligence, Caterpillar with its machines is using it. So some amazing examples of involvement of the customer also in the automotive value chain. The way forward, how we see it, and that's a, the, the basic lessons we are, we are taking from what is happening in automotive industry, and we're behind solutions like Salesforce are perfect fit also for automotive companies. This is the improvement of customer experience above all touch points. The integration from the first web experience, from the car configuration, through the physical dealer side, through back into the web, uh, above all touch points, data integration. Seamless processes, wherever the customer is entering in the value chain, it's integrated with the solution behind. Swarm intelligence, like we've seen in some of the examples used, like on design options, swarm intelligence for selecting a car design. Fiat Cinquecento is the example here. Transparency in data management. Data management is the most toughest topic on the list. Because this is at the basic, integrating all the data. And of course, as NDD data in the NTT group, it's a pleasure for me to see. 100 years ago, it has been the oil and the motor, and now it's much more the data as the oil of the 21st century. And this is one of the, the basic messages where IT industry is converging with automotive industry. And with those five lessons, I leave you into a very pleasant evening, and thank you for your attention and for listening to that speech on automotive and how the world is changing here. Thanks a lot.